The setCalc parallel command lets us use more than one CPU inside of an S-based block storage calc script. Quite simply, by default, it's only going to use one CPU, but if I want to use more, the setCalc parallel command lets me control how many threads the calculation can launch simultaneously. And it is a maximum number. Just because I set it to 128 doesn't mean it will actually launch 128. It might launch two, or it might launch one at the top of a really large sparse dimension. The syntax is pretty simple. It's just at the top of your calc script, or theoretically in the middle, I'll explain that in a second. You have a line that says set, space, calc parallel, space, and then a number. That number is the maximum number of threads that you want the calc script to launch. By default, that number is going to be whatever is set in the sbase CFG. If it's not set in the sbase CFG, it's going to default to 1. The maximum number you can go up to, though, is 128 on a 64-bit server, at least as of sbase 11.124. Now, it's worth pointing out that the setCalc parallel command is what's called a procedural command, just like all set commands in S-based calc scripts. What that means is maybe at the top of your script, you might want to use 128 CPUs, and then farther down, for some reason, you might only want to use 4 CPUs or 8 CPUs. You can just have another setCalc parallel line, and it will change it farther down your script. Now, the set calc task dims will affect how many threads can actually be launched because calc task dims says how many sparse dimensions at the end it uses to launch simultaneous tasks. So if you have a sparse dimension at the end that only has three members and your calc task dims is set to one, the most threads it can possibly launch is three because it's going to launch each member of that dimension onto its own thread. So let's say I wanted to use all 128 CPUs on my super powerful S-Base Exolytics T5 machine. I could say set calc parallel 128, and it will launch up to 128 simultaneous activities. 